Today, friends and family gathered to remember a man who meant a great deal to the community. A Brown influenced thousands of lives through his work as a coach and minister. Serena Fazan has more now on the legacy he leaves behind. Idlewide Baptist Church was filled with people, as many fondly remembered the man known as the preacher teacher. A Brown was a pastor, coach, educator, and leader. Tampa's leader, Pam Iorio, shared there was much to learn from Brown. For A. Brown personified the big issues of our life. Namely, are you a good person? Have you put God foremost in your life? Are you living your life to help others? Numerous speakers talked to Brown's accomplishments. The native son graduated from Middleton High School only to come back after college and coach there as well as several other schools at Hillsborough County. He was also dean at Chamberlain High where Representative Kathy Castor was a student. Through the most difficult years of change and transition in our public schools in our own community. But Abe Brown was the rock. But his greatest passion was helping those, he said, who lost their way by committing crime. He established Abe Brown Ministries and worked closely with Coach Tony Dungy. Dungy had very fond memories of the man he met 14 years ago. He did so much for me and counseled me and talked to me when uh, we weren't winning or things weren't going right. You know what, he didn't do it just for me because I was the coach of the Bucks. I was one of thousands of people he did that for. But at the very end of the two-hour service, it was his grandson, Miles Bennett, who asked everyone to remember the reverence service. If all you people were really touched by him, then hold on to the lessons that he taught. Because there are a lot of people who still need an A. Brown in their life. A. Brown died last weekend after losing his third battle with cancer. He was 83 years old. Serena Fazan, ABC Action News. Brown also led the congregation of First Baptist Church of College Hill for more than a decade. He survived by his wife of 46 years, three daughters, and his grandchildren. People in St. Petersburg are fighting for safer neighborhoods.